The secret to keeping cool on Hampton Roads during the summer sometimes isn't as simple as a seat in the shade or a trip to the beach. Air conditioning is needed in our area, especially this weekend, and it has the men and women who keep the AC running, running themselves. Ten on your sides, Regina Mobley has more from the HVAC repair guy. Regina. Hey, Lena, one tech told me today they are a rocking and a rolling and they're working around the clock. That's because they know their service could save a life. been non-stop we were working eight to eight eight to eight yes ma'am how many days a week uh seven yeah we got we got guys on call um 24 hours emergency service so we're we're rocking and rolling now what are the typical problems you see this time of year uh we see lots of maintenance related issues um drain lines dirty coils um dirty filters stuff like that yeah in weather like this no air conditioning can be a true emergency for some people yeah, definitely. Yeah, we get lots of calls on after hours, um, people with, you know, dire needs of uh, emergency services for sure. Cassidy, how can homeowners get ahead of Mother Nature and mechanical malfunctions? Uh, maintenance would be the, the main, main thing to do um, at least once or twice a year. Just get a, an eye on the system, um, get a once over and just see what you're looking for, um, you know, in the, the months to come. Uh, that's the best way to do it. Definitely don't run your system too low. We always say the 20 degree rule. Um, if it's 95 outside, you know, 75 is about all the system is designed to do. 20 degrees, that's it. Now, when it comes to the systems, it's all about getting ahead of Mother Nature. Later this summer is a good time to schedule a pre-winter checkup with your HVAC technician so that you'll be ready for old man winter. Regina Mobley, 10 on your side.